Hello, I am Banzar from Banzar Gaming onto YouTube's, and this is Don't Starve. I'm going to be playing it again because why not? And I enjoyed it last time, so. But we don't play with any of the characters we've done already. We've done Wilson. We, we did one episode with Wilson, and I died instantly, so that'll do for him. We've done Willow. We survived a bit longer with Willow. I did relatively well, I think. Seven days. I'm not very good at this game, so seven days is good for me. Okay, shut up. So we're going to play with Wendy the Bereaved. She, Abigail, come back. I'm not done playing with you. Has visitors at night. We're going to play with her because she sounds terrifying. I've not actually played with her before. But I do know that the ghost of her dead sister visits her in the night time. Which is always good in a game, really. I can't really think of any game I like that doesn't have the ghost of your dead sister visiting you in the night time, so... Um... I'm struggling now to think of any game that has that in. Say, pal, you don't look so good. I know, you've said this before. You'd better find one in Dweeb before night comes. Well, if I didn't waste my time talking to you, then maybe... Now nah, we go. Let's go find something to eat before night falls. And we're in a very convenient little square of... Ooh, Savannah, straight away. <gasps> Rocks. If there are beefalo here as well, this could be the best start to Don't Starve ever. There's loads of rabbit holes. Come on, please give me beefalo. This would be amazing. There's a nice road. This would be the best place ever if there were just some beefalo. Come on. I probably should be picking things, but I'm too excited. Beefalo? Hello? There aren't any beefalo, are there? Not here. Not today. Oh, well. Never mind. Let's go find some twigs. I'm disappointed now. I was hoping that this was going to be the best thing ever. Also, pro tip from my sister, who's played a lot of this and is much better at it than me. Um, pro tip, pick lots of flowers. Because if you can make a garland, then you probably won't go insane. Because if you wear a garland during the day, your sanity increases. Which I didn't know. And it's apparently very useful, because being insane is not a good thing. Also, winter now happens in this game, which scares me a bit, but you know, what? Well, not much that we can do about that, except try and make a nice woolly jumper or something, I guess, or like a knitted thing. I wonder if there's Christmas. If it's winter, there should be Christmas. And then Wendy's, is it Wendy? Wendy. I think she's called Wendy. They all begin with W, something I noticed in this game. I might be a bit slow, you probably noticed that ages ago, but hey. <laughs> they all begin with W. There's there's Wilson, Wendy, Willow. Are you noticing the theme there? Yeah? The w thing that I told you about? Yeah? Anyway, this is actually quite a nice place, even though there are no beefalo. I don't think I'm going to start a house. A house? A home. Make a house a home. I don't think I'm going to start living here because there's no source of manure or anything. Who seeds? There are seeds, though. But there are seeds everywhere. Okay. Let's, uh, let's head this way. We're finding quite a few carrots as well, which is always nice. It's good to get well stocked on food, because that's the aim of the game, really, is to not starve. Okay. Aim and the name of the game. All three of those words rhyme. So... Clearly, this is probably the best video you've ever seen. Um, ooh, berries! Berries are always fun. You can rub them on your children's eyes. You can put them in a pie. You can lick them in a slightly eerie way while peering through your neighbor's window if you want. I mean, you might freak them out, but... I mean, that's an experiment you should really try. You've not lived until you've licked berries while staring eerily through your neighbour's window. Do it. Go for it. And uh, post the results in the comments. Unless you're in prison. I don't know whether they let you access YouTube in prison. You might look up videos of murder. I hope YouTube doesn't have any videos of murder on. I'm sure that's against the terms of service. Anyway. I'm not entirely sure what I'm talking about. We're 
pretty thoroughly explored this area. This has been a good first day. We've got quite a bit done. We've got loads of resources. We've got... Oh, we didn't actually make an axe or do any of the things that you meant to do on the first day, so... Hello, Abigail. That's my twin sister. Hey, Abigail. Hey, Abigail, come back. Oh, Abigail, no! Okay, Abigail's not... Is Abigail coming to attack me? Or is she... Okay, just don't go too close to Abigail, because she can get angry. Um, do I have enough to make... I don't have any logs, and this is... What? Oh, this is a massive swamp. I don't want to be in a massive swamp. I really need to make an axe and cut trees. What am I doing? Okay. We'll go back up to all those rocks and uh, cut them down next episode. We want to get an alchemy engine as soon as we can, so we can skip basic farms and go straight to having advanced farms when we find some manure. Note to self, if uh, if you empty your recycle bin more, then things won't go horribly wrong and make your video stop recording halfway through. But anyway, you didn't miss much, I just finished cutting down that tree. It was exciting though, and I said at least 17 hilarious things, which you missed. And they were the only hilarious things I've said this video, so it's unfortunate really, but I mean, that is proof that I am really funny and you should carry on watching the videos. Anyway, Abigail is uh, following me. It's nearly nearly Batman time, the Dark Knight. I think I've made that joke. <gasps> eye bone! Awesome! Okay, the eye bone. We get this. And look, look, look who arrives. Chester! <gasps> I love Chester. Okay, so our friend Chester is here. Ooh, hang on. More savannah that we've not explored. Beefalo? There must be beefalo. Come on. It's massive. I really should head back to, uh, it's nearly Batman time. I really should head back to, um, the thing. But really? No beefalo? It's the second savannah that has no beefalo in. But anyway, we've got Chester now. He follows us. So we've got loads of extra storage, basically. Oh, something burned. What should I put there? Ah, oh, well, whatever it is, we've got ashes now. We've got Chester, who now follows us. Well, we've got the eye bone. And we can store things in him, which is awesome. So, Chester. Maybe Chester should be like my portable food supply. I don't know whether food goes off faster while in Chester, though, or anything like that. I might want to be careful of that. Let's eat the berries. Let's eat the berries. If the berries are cooked when you peer through your neighbor's windows, it definitely won't have as good an effect. So, make sure they are raw berries that you're licking while peering slightly too intently through your neighbor's window. Otherwise... I mean, it's just weird if you do it with, <laughs> you do it with cooked berries. That's weird. You're a weirdo. Anyway, I feel like this has been a brilliant first day. We have Chester. We've got loads of stuff. Stuff's always good in this game. And it's nearly day two. We've got a fire that's slowly burning out, but I don't want to have more because it feels like a waste of wood because I'm just going to leave here tomorrow anyway. No, that's going to burn out before morning, isn't it? Let's put another piece of wood on it. Okay, now it should be fine. I have killed it. Well, you're not at all terrifying, are you, Wendy? Anyway, yeah, this has been day one. We've got Abigail, our friend here, who's quite cool, although she does like to hurt me. We've got Chester, who we're going to store food in. It's going to be our food storage device. Um, petals don't count. Only real food that we actually want to eat. Oh, that's the pause button, not the closed Chester button. That's the closed Chester button when it says closed Chester, funnily enough. So this has been day one. Thanks for watching. If you want to see day two, then subscribe and it'll pop up when it's out. It's not going to be daily like the last time I did this because the last time I did this was like last week and it was just a one-off challenge thing. But anyway, this has been day one. Thanks for watching. Day two is about to begin. So I'm going to uh, pause it and end off here. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you on day two.